Hey guys, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. It's Kayla. Um, so there are a couple things that I want to talk about because it's pretty, not exciting, but it's different. It affected my daily life. Um, so the other day I got an email and it said there has been some fraudulent activity on your debit card. And I looked and there it was. There were transactions that I had purchased, but there was one on the 13th in Japan that was for almost $2,000. So thankfully, they caught it in time. It was declined. It didn't go through. Um, so that's really good. And I'm glad that they caught it like that. But I totally forgot about it. The next day, I tried to go shopping for holiday gifts, and it wouldn't go through. And then I remembered, oh my god. <sighs> and so that's a huge bummer. Um, thankfully, my mom borrowed me some money, so I have to pay her back once I get a new card. And it's just really frustrating. It's almost time to go to work and I have to work until 1 a.m. so I'm not really excited for that. The next week, I think, there's only two days that I don't have to close. So that means I'll be getting home around 2 a.m. and that sucks. But, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to sit here and seem like I'm complaining because I'm so grateful for where I am in life, for having a job, for going to school. I'm in such a great position. I'm very happy with my life. But that also doesn't mean that I can't vent or complain. Just because I have these things doesn't mean that I'm immune to feelings. I can be frustrated or angry if I want. There was this guy in my class who basically told me that I complained too much and to just move on. Well, that's the thing. I am. I am dealing with everything straight on, head on. I'm not saying that it's difficult or that I'm not willing to do it. Uh, I do say that it's difficult sometimes. I do say that going to work and going to school is tough, and it is. And that's just the way it is. I'm not going to apologize for feeling that way. They canceled my card. I have to go into my bank tomorrow and get a new one or order a new one. And I also have to pay for school tomorrow. So it's just like a lot of things all at once. But yeah, I'm getting ready for work now. Pretty much all done. I have to leave uh, pretty soon. And then I'm stuck there until 1 or about, you know, that time. Hopefully this never happens to you. All I can say is, make, and this is like probably the fourth or fifth time this has happened to me. It's happened to my credit cards. It's happened to my debit cards before. All I can say is make sure you know where your card is at all times. I've had instances where... My good friends will even take my card and use them without me knowing. That's happened before. When you're looking at your account online, make sure you pick a password that no one else would ever guess. Make sure that it's unique. You know the ropes. Um, I would suggest not using a password that you use for something else. Oh, your PIN number. Be careful about your PIN number because I've had people who have looked over my shoulder and gotten my PIN number and used my card. So just beware. Stay away from shitty people. Um, and with that, I will end this video. I hope you guys are having a great day, evening, night, afternoon, morning, whatever. Um, keep watching my videos, like and subscribe, and I will update later. Bye guys.